Hello, I'm Paul Stryer, and welcome to the SD-WAN self-hosted lab build video series. In this video, we are going to add some network interfaces to our VMs so that we have enough interfaces for our topology as well as having an interface for our management network. We will also take snapshots of our VMs so we can work on them, and if we want to start over, we can return to the snapshot and start over with a freshly installed VM. So let's quickly jump into the lab and get her done. As you can see in a previous video, we created six VMs. These VMs are vSmart, vBond, vManage, and three vEdge devices. We need to make sure we have enough interfaces on each VM for our topology as well as our management network. So let's right click on the first VM and the pop-up menu, let's select Edit Settings. So once it opens, we'll see that we only have one network adapter on the vSmart. So if I go to the top and click on Add Network Adapter, notice that it adds it. Now, as you can see, both the adapters are in SD-WAN control. You are going to want to create another network in your ESXi to attach your management network to. Viptela creates a management network called 512 interface by default, so you can create a VLAN 512 to connect that to and have all of your VMs, and if you have hardware, attached via that network. And normally, I will create a Windows jump box for administration and put it in the 512 network so I can reach all of my SD-WAN devices from that machine. But for now, I'll leave all of my VMs and all of the network interfaces cards connected to the SD-WAN control network. And once I set up that 512 network, I will put some of the interfaces into that network. Once I'm finished editing the VM, I will click Save. So now you can move on to the rest of the VMs and add network interfaces to each VM as you need them. So you need to build a topology drawing of your network, figure out how many interfaces each device needs, and then make sure you have that many network interface cards. And since it's a repetitive action to add network interface cards on each one of the VMs, I'm gonna skip to the next section of the video. In this next section, we're basically gonna make backups of the VMs in case we mess them up and we wanna go back to the beginning, we won't have to reinstall them. So all you have to do is right click on any one of the VMs. I usually start at the top and work my way down, click on snapshots and then take snapshots. Then you just have to go ahead and put in a name and I usually give a pretty good description so I know where I left off in that snapshot and then I click take snapshot button at the bottom. But for speed, I won't put a description in today, but I always usually use the description field just so I know where to get back to. So then I can move on to the second one and right click it, say snapshot, and then click take snapshot and do it again. Give it a name, description, and take snapshot. If you need to return to a snapshot or restore, all you have to do is go to snapshot and then manage snapshots. And in that window, it'll allow you to restore back to a snapshot. And you can take more than one snapshot. You can take one now at the beginning, one after the initial configuration, and then one after you're completely finished configuring. So you have three different states to go back and forth between. Thank you for watching this video and I look forward to seeing you for future videos. This is Paul Stryer. Have a good day.